Okay, what page was it? I just can't remember. Page 487. Is everybody on page 487? Everybody turn there, not just Brooklyn. Every single fourth grader, page 487. Okay. Um. Stop. Okay, Brooklyn, go ahead and mute. I'm going to go to somebody else. Connor, what are the next four multiples of one eighth? He said mute. Connor, um, what are the next four multiples? Connor, don't tell anyone else to mute. Just worry about Connor. Go ahead. I didn't say. Yeah, I didn't it, was, tell it was not mute. Connor. It was me. Cause, okay, Aaron, don't, don't tell anybody so else. Don't, don't tell anyone to mute. You worry about Aaron. All right, go ahead, Connor. It was two eighths, two eighths, three eighths, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, and five eighths. That's it. Good work. All right. Number two, David C. Could you read that one? There's a little story to go with it. Okay. Sorry, I was on mute and I had to do the problem. I got something wrong. Okay. So, Marta is making three servings of fruit salad. She adds three eighth cup blueberries for each of her serving. Her measuring cup holds one eighth cup. How many times must Martha Marta measure one eighth cup blueberries to have enough for the fruits added? Okay, good. So the first thing we have to do Don't shade the models to show your answers. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about shading it. All right, we're just gonna do this. We have to do three times three eighths because he's making three servings. So how much total is Marta making? Six eighth servings. Or do, hang on, do three times three again. Oh, my bad. Nine. Nine eighth servings. Good. Now the question says, how many times will they have? Will we have to fill a one eighth cup? How many times? So let me see. Nine. Good. So your answer is nine times. Is that a dog in the background, Mrs. Palmer? Yeah, that's my dog. What's his name? Walker. All right, let's go to number three. David N., would you read number three, please? Yeah, no problem. Mickey exercises for the first hour every day. How many hours does he exercise in eight days? Six hours, I believe. All right, how did you do that? Three fourths times eight. Eight times three is 24. Four goes into 24 six times, so six hours. Good job. All right, boys and girls, and that's the whole first page of your chapter review already. All right, you guys are doing awesome with fractions. Number four, David S., could you read that one? It looks like it has many parts. David S. Molly's baking for the moms and muffins event at her school. She will bake four batches of banana muffins. She needs one and three-fourth cups of bananas for each batch of muffins. Part A. Molly, okay. Molly completed the multiplication below and said she needed eight cups of bananas for four batches of muffins. What is Molly's error? All right. So take a look at the work that she did there. Four times one and three-fourths equals four times eight-fourths equals 32 fourths equals eight, but they, they're they saying there's a mistake there. What's the mistake, David S? Um, uh, one and three fourths equals seven fourths, not eight fourths. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna write that down. This is part A. One and three fourths does not equal eight fourths, it equals seven fourths, good. Okay, so that's the mistake. She didn't write that mixed number correctly when she turned it 
into an improper fraction. Um, Gavin Rogers, will you read part B and let's see what they want there? Yeah, Gavin Rogers, you have to unmute. Can you uh, put the, the the board up? I didn't com complete everything. Yeah. All right, we're good. Okay. All right, read part B, Gavin. All right. What is the correct number of cups Molly needs for four batches of muffins? Explain how you found your answer. Okay. So she... They said it was eight because they got, she said it was eight fourths and David S told us, no, it's really seven fourths. So we have to do seven fourths times four batches. And what would the correct answer be then? What would we get Gavin? Seven, four, one second. Mm Uh, isn't it 28 fourths? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And how many times does four go into 28? Seven. Good. With how many left over? Zero. Good. So what is the correct number of cups? And you're right, seven cups. Good job, Gavin. Okay. Number five, sod. So number five says, which fraction is a multiple of one ninth? Mark all that apply. So there's going to be more than one answer there. Three ninths, four ninths, two ninths, and nine ninths. Good. There's four answers. That's kind of crazy. So the only ones you didn't mark were in the middle. All right. You marked three ninths. You marked four four ninths, you marked two ninths, and nine ninths. Good work. I want to hold that up so everyone can see. The two in the middle, he just left blank, so I didn't write those ones down. All right, good job, Saad. Okay, Taryn, would you read number six, please? Muted. Okay. Mimi recorded a soccer game that lasted one, two, three, hours. She watched it three times over the weekend to study the plays. How many hours did Mimi spend watching the soccer game? Show your work. So, they, so three times one and two thirds. Good. So three times one plus two is five. Good. So five thirds. Good. So now you have five thirds. Good. Times three. Uh, five, ter five thirds times three mm -hmm. is. Uh, What's five times three? Fifteen. And then. Uh, five, fifteen. With. <clears throat> so, what did you get on the bottom, Taryn? You got a 15 yeah. on top? Yeah. And, then and what's on the bottom? Three. Three, good. How many times does three go into 15? Five. Good. With how many left over? One. None, right? Because three times yeah. five would just give you 15. Mm -hmm. So it's just plain old five. Five hours. Good work. All right. And number seven. Yash, would you please read number seven? Neo is comparing shark lengths. He learned that a horn shark is two and three fourths feet long. A blue shark is four times as long. Complete the model, then find the length of a blue shark. So do I have to do the model? No. Okay, so a blue shark is, so we'll make the two and three fourths into a 11 fourths. Good. And then we do 11 fourths times four, which four, is 44 four fourths. And so then the um, blue shark is 11 feet long. Yeah, perfect. And we're trying to write that all down, what you said. Okay. You turned 
two and three fourths into 11 fourths. Then you said you were timesing that, multiplying it by four. You got 44 fourths, and you said that is 11 feet long. Good. Perfect. All right, that's the second page of your chapter review slash test. So far, so good. Okay. Um, let's go to the next page, page 489, number eight. And um, this one's for Aaron. Aaron, number eight. It says Joel made a number line showing the multiples of three-fifths. Well, you don't have to worry about that number line. No. The product of two times three-fifths is shown by the fraction okay. what? So you have to do two times three-fifths. Six-fifths. Good. All right. Aaron got six-fifths for that one. No problem. Good Ooh. work, Aaron. Thanks. Okay. Number nine. Brooklyn, could you read number nine? Uh, Bobby has baseball pack practice Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Each practice is two and one third, I mean, two and one half hours. Bobby says he will have practice for four hours this week. Without multiplying, explain how you know Bobby is incorrect. Okay, so how many days does he have practice, Brooklyn, if he has it Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Friday? Friday. How many days three. is that? So three days. Be three times two and one half. Right. Three times two and one half. And even if we didn't do the two and a half, even if we just did three times two, what would three times two be? Six. Yeah. So we know that... Three times two and a half is going to be greater than six. So four is too small. So that's what I would say. Okay. Three times two and a half, we know it's greater than six. Because Brooklyn just estimated like in her head, well, three times two is six. All right. Brooklyn, could you still, could you do part B, which says how long well, will the practice more. really be? So you have to actually do three times two and a half. For real. So, okay. Six and a half hours. All right. What did you change two and a half to? Um, like two times two is? Uh, four. Plus one? Five. Wait, what was plus. part A? Okay, so you have three times five halves, right, Brooklyn? Yep. All right, what's three times five? Fifteen. Good, so that's 15 halves. Now you want to turn it back. How many times does two go into 15? Seven times. Good, with how many left over? Um, one. Good. So he really practices seven and one half hours. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, the next one is for Connor. Connor number 10. There's a number line, but basically they're doing multiples of one sixth and they give us like four blanks. What would go in those four blanks, Connor? Um, you would just put uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 6. Good. 9, 6, 10, 6, 11, 6, 12, 6. Good job. All right, let's look at number 11, David C. Could you read that one? It looks kind of long. Number 11. Uh, by Anna, Anna Distaction with five, Some kind of a dog. Okay. Five and five is the pound when it was born. By eight of four, the dog weighed six times as much. Fill the box. 
with the number of symbol from the list to show how to find the weight of animals that got ages for. Not all numbers and symbols may be used. Okay, we're not gonna worry about the boxes and stuff. We're just gonna do the problem for real. All right, so David C, you're- Yeah. Oh, so five, so you have to do- Seven, five, eight times five, six. Yeah, and that equals- Oh. Yeah, this one gets a little trickier, right? Did you do eight times five is? Wait, give me a sec. Okay, so eight times five equals 40 plus five equals 45. Eight goes into 45. Well, here, so you want to, you're good with that. 45 over eight times six. 45 right. times six. So you have to do 45 two, times six. Uh, 24, 270. 270 over eight, good. Now. And eight goes in it like, wow, this is. We're gonna have to do, maybe we'll do a long division problem for that, David. Let's do yeah. 270 divided by eight, okay? Okay, 270 by eight. Divided by 8 equals 8, 16, 24, All right. Did you do the division? 20, 270 divided by 8? Ugh, I messed up on it. I had to start over. Okay. Thirty-three. Yep, thirty-three remainder what? 33 remainder. Three. Okay, but 33 remainder six. Oh, okay. All right, so that would be 33 and six eight pounds. All right, that's another whole page done. Let's look at the next page, 490. David N, the first one. It says, estimate a fraction number line to help her find three times four fifths. Don't worry about the number line, but which one of those would you circle in the box, David? I was really confused by this. Select a way to write three times four fifths as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Does that mean the answer? What's a unit fraction? It's like, what? Well, one fifth. One fifth is a unit fraction. Yeah. So that means a so unit that, fraction means there's a one fifth. This is probably, can I use the restroom? Yes. All right. So, David Ann, is three times four fifths, there's only two of those that have a one fifth. It's either 12 times one fifth or six times one fifth. What 12 do you think? times one fifth, maybe? That's it. You're good. Yeah. 12 times one fifth is what you're going to circle. The model. Good job. <laughs> Okay, good work. Number 13, David S. Could you read that one? Um, Yusuf wants to give one third of his total toy car collection to each of his two to each of two of his friends. How much of his total toy car collection will he give away? So he wants to give one third to each of his two friends. So how much is one third times two? Two thirds. Good. All right. Um, I think Gavin is the one who went to the restroom maybe. So I'm going to go to Sod for number 14. 
sod, select the correct product for each, for the, for the equation. So there's two there for number 14. Can you do the first one? What is four times five eighths? It's 20 eighths. Good. How about the second one, Sod? Uh, 16 eighths. Good job. All right, you guys are really quite amazing at fractions. Okay. Here's what I want you to do, but you're gonna have to pay close attention. Okay? You have two more pages of this, and we're finishing up this chapter. And I wanna go next week on to the next chapter, okay? So what I want you to do is finish the next two pages. If it says models or something, you don't have to do that. You just do the problem the numbers way, the way we have been doing it. Page 491 and 492. You guys are gonna get a grade um, like a test grade for today for doing this work with me. And like each of you had a couple, one or two or three turns. So I know that you know what's Ooh. going on. So I want you to do these two pages, 491 and 492. But I want you to send me the answers. All right. Do you guys know how to send them to me? You could send me an email and like type number 15A, true, 15B, true. Can I send you a picture? Why can't we check it on Monday? Like on the... Can we... This All is, right. is going to be a, a screenshot. This is a test. You could take a picture and send that to my email. That's fine. Or you could type me your answers. But um, that's your homework for tonight. And tomorrow you don't have class with me, right? But it's like your day to catch up on things and to do your assessments. So... Can we do all you could do this tomorrow also, and Mrs. Palmer will be available. If you need to meet with me, you could send me an email and say, hi, can you meet? And we could get on Google Meet if you have a question for me. Can we do a Google Doc of this? Yeah, you can make a Google Doc and send it to me, but you have to send it to me and finish those pages um, by tomorrow. So you should do them tonight or do them tomorrow during the day. Okay, but you're not just doing them, you're sending me your answers. Okay, I guess that makes good sense. All right, so you could take a picture of your answers, you could make a Google document and just type your answers in. But if you have any questions, let me know, send me an email, come between two and three. Okay? All right, you guys have a good day, nice work today. Bye. Happy, Bye. Happy birthday. Bye. Have a good birthday, yes. Gavin. Bye. Thanks. Mrs. Mrs. Homer. Yeah. Look at my look at my camera. Like I mean, look at my picture.